I love this sort of thing because we've got you're going in in the motorhome with with the driver to film him pressing the button. Tom and I are going up to the gate to set up a tripod to do a close up of the gate opening, and then we've got to quickly get out and then get inside and film the van, the, the motorhome coming in. It's a really unique opportunity to really capture some assets and this drone footage is very important. Costa's just over there, we spent a lot of time thinking about how to grow this business, Ty55, and I always get to this Abacus plot, I'd love to work with that company, I would love to work with Abacus. Fast forward a few months and here we are making this video today, you know, Pure Gym over there as well, which was a massive part in the whole gym side of things you know coming crashing down a few years before that so it's just nice it's like it's a bit, it feels like a bit of a victory you know a bit of a personal win today to be doing this it's great to be back on the vlog i think the vlog is officially back i think so i don't like to do too much in the car though because i don't think it's responsible but i am uh, watching what i'm doing and driving and being safe and everything else you're filming it's great to be back on the vlog. I think the vlog is officially back. I think so. So we're gonna park up here, we're gonna have a walk up the road, film this video, and then we're gonna talk a little bit about what we're doing on Wednesday over there. A quick video filmed. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You asked me to do it in two minutes. I think it's probably about six. Four thirty. Four. Four. Okay. Four minutes thirty. Four and a half. I'm happy with that. But I wanted to just share something. Obviously, we're making videos right now. We make a lot of them. But I said to you just before the video I said Matt tell me what you're looking for what, what should I say and that's so important the teamwork aspect of that I think it's about being on purpose and not being afraid to bin a load of footage if it's not going to hit the objective I quite like it when we chat I wish the chat bit was on camera as well yeah one day because we've never been here as a team you know there's a chalk hill blue restaurant here um one day I'd love to go there and I, I think we don't do that sort of thing because I think we're just far from finished um, still outside of their HQ and emailed it to them with a screenshot of I'm stood outside, uh, which obviously you'd want to know why this crazy person was stood outside. So yeah, they invited me in for a meeting and it went well and they basically said, yeah, look, go on then, let's see what we got. And that's why on Wednesday, we're going over here together and we've got Simon joining us as well because he's got the license to film and fly drones. Um, and we're going to be doing some drone footage of their whole empire. Tommy, good morning, good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is it, we're at Abacus. Yes, we are. It's not raining. It's positive. And it's not too like, grey, but it's lucky. Which is lucky because it is October, middle of October, so but we've got to get it done. And, uh, They've got all the fleet here, like there's so many motorhomes here, it's mad. Um, and that's very rare, because usually these come in, get cleaned up and they go out the door straight away. Somebody else somebody else is taking that for a, for a staycation. So it's a really unique opportunity to really capture some assets. And this drone footage is very important. So this here is getting used for the drone fly through today. Simon's gonna fly all the way through here. He's gonna get some shots of the, the, the motorhomes here. Sign in the background, fly out. I'm um, gonna have to do a bit of clever editing as well, Matt, so no pressure on you here <laughs> with the drone footage and gimbal footage to kind of connect the two together to make it seem seamless um, in order to A, stay safe because there's some areas we can't do drone footage because it's just too compact, um, but also that it needs to sort of stay in that continuity of the, the look and feel of the video. So. Yeah, it's, it's going to be good. Kendall's here, Tom's here as well. You'll be able to meet him later, hopefully, as well. Uh, Simon and Matt. Pretty much the full squad. Just Darcy not here today. Um, but we're all going to be working on this. We'll work on Abacus and Supply. So nice for everyone to be here. So, what did you just do? Um, so, we have to, we, we don't have to, but it's, it's good courtesy to let anybody who's got a, a field or a traffic control or what have you nearby let them know that you can be flying. Uh -huh. um, and it just so happens that Army HQ is just down the road yeah, and yeah. they've got a nice great big helipad on site so it's always worth letting them know because uh, otherwise you might get a gun ship or um, <laughs> what have you knocking you out of the sky a yeah. little bit. So yeah, <laughs> the drone well just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's well worth doing. Well, when you said you were coming to do some drone footage, mate, I didn't expect this. Yeah, it's all ballet, mate. Right, it's all on. ballet. The ballet oh. of the drone. You need a license for this bit, especially, yeah. <laughs> 
It's the only thing that teach you on the course. <laughs> I love this sort of thing because we've got you're going in in the motorhome with with the driver to film him pressing the button. Tom and I are going up to the gate to set up a tripod to do a close up of the gate opening, and then we've got to quickly get out and then get inside and film the van, the, the motorhome coming in. Simon's going to be following the motorhome as it drives out from above, which is going to look so cool. It'll be like the old uh, Grand Theft Auto before it was 3D, <laughs> and. Um, it's just exciting, isn't it? It's just, what, what else do you want to be doing on a Wednesday? Perfect Wednesday morning. You know, so I, I'm loving it. I think it's really fun. But also, it's, it's all well and good at being fun and, and everything, but it has to hit the objective. And I think this is the most organised that we've ever been approaching any of these before. I think we know what we yeah. need to do, we know what we don't need to do. I'm happy. So we'll wait and see what happens. But yeah, so this is it. This is the gate. We were here the other day, weren't we? Stood outside here chatting. <laughs> Now we're here to film this gate open. It's going to be great. It's going to be gate. <laughs> we do have too much fun. What do you want to know, Matt? I want to know what were you doing whilst I was filming a van getting cleaned? While you were filming a van getting cleaned, we were like, I was, I'm just going to tell the truth on this matter. Summer 2020, I spent a lot of time in the woods with my drone and my son going up with the drone, having some fun, seeing what we could see. One day I crashed it into a tree and it got stuck in that tree for about three months. And him and I were going in the middle of lockdown, we were driving out there, you know, because you've got nothing to do, trying to throw things at this drone to try and get it out of the tree. So I'm not gonna lie, I had massive flashbacks when I saw Simon's drone fly through there and what looked like losing control as he went out the other end of that and it flew off to the right. But he was completely in control. He's pretty nifty with the drone. He can like make it do loads of cool things. Obviously he's got a license and he knows how to do these things, but it didn't it didn't help me feeling worried that we were gonna crash into a hundred grand motorhome. So I'm glad that we didn't. But we've basically done the shot now, which is if you spin round where we've been flying through here. This was like the big shot that we wanted to make sure we got right. Um, drone comes through looking at these vehicles here and then goes out the other side and up um, which will then attach onto some of the more aerial shots that we've got to create the overall uh, look and feel of the presence because that's very important one of the main objectives with this video is to show that abacus have all of this going on they're the one-stop shop this is where the adventure starts they can do so much for people who want to buy rent or do have a motor home but they need to show that. They've built this new premises, it's only about nine months that they've been here, as well as across the road there, and we've got to help them make a noise and show that off, so um, that's why we're going all out with all the drone footage and all the cool stuff that we're doing. Costa's just over there, we spent a lot of time thinking about how to grow this business, Ty 55, and I always looked at this Abacus plot, I'd love to work with that company, I would love to work with Abacus. Fast forward a few months and here we are making this videos today, you know? pure gym over there as well which was a massive part in the whole gym side of things you know coming crashing down a few years before that so it's just nice it's like it's a bit, it feels like a bit of a victory you know a bit of a personal win today to be doing this a um, bit of a sort of chapter in time so yeah I'm, I'm just really um, pleased and when we get back we've got a little bit of footage to get through Matt I'm not gonna lie it it's gonna take a while yeah it's fine but very impressed with everybody, very impressed with you, impressed with Tom as well, I think he's doing really well. Um, Kendall's been doing loads of stuff yeah, inside, admin-wise, to make sure we're all good with the website and everything. These are the sorts of clients that you know, we want to try and replicate, so we want to do a really good job of it, so that we can um, keep growing as a company. It was good. Um, I mean, you always have an issue with, with drones and the, the skyline because obviously with a lot of cloud, it can end up being really white, even if you try and change the exposure, but it's been pretty good. Um, flying it through the building was certainly interesting. Uh, trying to get it through there 
um, because the wind changes as you from one door to the other, uh, you're getting attacked by a wasp. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, no, flying it through the building was certainly interesting because uh, the wind changes from one side to the other as you're flying through, so you lose the wind completely in the middle. Uh, the building's not quite straight uh, inside, so actually as you're flying through the ground gets closer, so you had to play with the altitude a little bit as you're flying as well. But no, I think all in all it went pretty good and um, I think there's some, some sweet shots in there and some nice distance shots of the other side over the other side as well. Nice working with you mate. And you, absolutely. Hopefully See you again. again soon, yeah. I have been here kind of just supporting and helping wherever needed, had some stuff to sort out with the guys that is easy to do in person, helping get some behind the scenes pictures and videos and just enjoying it really. It's been a long time coming. I mean, it's really fun. It's gone so fast, but yeah, more technically side of things, sorting out Facebook pages and access to different accounts that other people have set up so it's hard to get hold of um, but when we're all together it's a lot easier to just kind of have everyone log into their accounts and find out who can grant who access and talk it through easier than ping pong and emails or phone calls. Pretty much come to the end of the day now Tommy considering you know the conversation we were having on what Monday? Monday. Was it? Two days ago. Two days ago. Time's gone quick. Yeah. Today's gone quick. Yes. How do you think today went? really well we've delivered on our objectives they're a great client they've um, kind of let us do our thing and they've been really helpful I think we've um, been very organized and we've got a lot of content out which is always the, the main objective is to get more than we need so then we've got other things that we can work on for example just working on some little um, Instagram reels content which is unheard of really for this this company they've never done anything like that before but a lot of their target market are um, guys and girls between the age of kind of late 20s and early 40s for the staycation market in particular they do use a lot of Instagram and they do like Instagram reels and um, when I first came here to have a chat with the guys about us working with them they asked me how do I know that their target market are on Instagram and I said well since I've got here I've walked past four or five people that are browsing or talking to your staff and they've all got one hand on their phones and they're all on Instagram even the people out at the counter were on Instagram so you know I took that in I saw that and I knew that that was a big opportunity so that's why we're sort of getting a little bit of reels we can use that sort of content too so all in all it's been really useful coming in and being a part of it all seeing all the products as well the great motorhomes team have performed really well it's been great having you here again Matt and doing the vlog um, which coming full circle from what I said uh, previously in this episode we don't get much time to do it anymore um, we'd love to be able to do more of it but we do know how important it is to tell the story of when unique things happen like this to look back on so if you have watched this video and you've enjoyed it do let us know in the comments what it is that you've enjoyed seeing because that helps us to navigate towards where you want us to go next if you haven't already subscribed to the channel then do so because not only do we show the behind the scenes stuff but we also provide content that is useful and valuable to anyone that runs a business and wants to know how the internet can help improve that so whether it's social media whether it's the latest developments in technology whether it's websites or content delivery we will be serving you with plenty more content in the future thanks for watching subscribe and we'll see you again next time hi are you looking for a new motorhome? If so, have I got the one for you. Come on in.